hello and welcome to another Magna FX Psychology 101 video. This video is a continuation of how to be a profitable trader. In this video, I'm going to give a breakdown of how traders can integrate beliefs into their minds, beliefs that will allow them to become profitable and successful traders. As we all know, beliefs are a strong factor to the way we behave, not just in the markets, but in our environment also. Beliefs are the ones that are responsible for the way we perceive the world and are also responsible for how we conduct ourselves in our daily lives. If you want a copy of this slide, you can find it on our Gumroad. I'll leave the link in the description below. Let us get into the video. In part one, I gave a list of fundamental truths about trading. Those are also beliefs that a profitable trader has about the market and they allow him to succeed in the market if you have not watched the video stop watching this video and go watch it because in this video i will be explaining how you can also adopt the beliefs so that they may become a functioning part of your mind changing your beliefs is a difficult task but that does not mean it is impossible our beliefs are what cause us to act the way we do take for example in certain situations, a Christian will act a different way from a Muslim because of what they believe is the right thing to do. This also applies to trading. In certain situations, a typical trader will act in a different way from a profitable trader because of their beliefs. An example of one situation is, after a streak of wins, a typical trader will decide to increase his lot size on the next trade but a profitable trader will always maintain his lot size and will increase it only when he is comfortable with losing the money when the trade loses. The professional trader or the profitable trader not only knows, but he believes that anything can happen in the market. There's a big difference between knowing and believing. We'll get into that in, in this video. These beliefs did not come to the profitable trader naturally. They had to adopt these beliefs when they realized they cannot control the market and the only thing they can control is their mind. Our minds are not built for trading. We have to adopt certain beliefs that will allow us to be profitable. These beliefs are foreign to the way our minds naturally operate. I gave an example in one of my videos of where we have the primitive brain. Our mind is not designed for us to trade when we come into the forex market we perceive losing money as a threat and when we look at price taking away our money self-defense mechanisms kick into our mind this is because in the early days in the stone age days when a threat would attack us self-defense mechanisms would come in naturally and we will instinctively act to defend ourselves this applies to trading, though in trading, we perceive the loss of money as the threat because money is a symbol of power in the world. And when you come with the mentality that you want to get rich from Forex, when you look, when you see your money going away by just a click of a button, you will try to fight against not losing that money. Thus, you will start making trading errors. So you have to continually try to go against the natural way of thinking this is why trading is difficult for most of the people most people come into trading without realizing that trading is all about psychology most of you have heard that 80 percent of trading is psychological and 20 percent is strategical but you still ignore the psychological factor because you are too focused on getting the money what you have to know, and I explained this in the previous video, is that the money is secondary. First, you have to develop the mental skills. And when your mental skills are on point, the money will come in effortlessly. Some of you might be thinking, well, you already explained what we need to know in order to become profitable. Here's the catch, guys. There is a difference between knowing and believing. If you only know something, 
it will not have an impact on your actions. But if you believe something, it will have an impact. Beliefs are energy. And the stronger the belief is, the greater the impact it has on your actions. We can take an example of a person who strongly believes that smoking is bad for your health. This individual will try by all means not to even touch a cigarette. But a person who only knows smoking is bad will smoke regardless of what the pack says. This is because this person only knows about the harmful effects but does not have a strong belief that the smoke will affect him. If he did, he would not smoke again. In another example, two people can be standing at the same position and looking at the same event. But the information will be perceived differently because we have different beliefs. That is the power of beliefs. There are many scenarios I could give, but we all get the point now. By now, we all get the point that beliefs affect the way we act and the way we perceive information. The following is the nature of beliefs and how they shape our lives. Number one, they manage our perception and interpretation of our environment that is consistent with what we believe. Two, they shape our expectation. Three, anything we decide to do or any outward expression will be in line with what we believe. We have just seen it through the example of the person smoking, that anything that you believe, any outward expression or any action that you take will be in line with what you believe, what you strongly believe. Our beliefs shape how we feel about the results of our actions. So, going back to the example of the individual smoking, if the individual who believes smoking is harmful to your health uh, smokes, this individual will feel terrible about the action that he has taken because he strongly believes and he is against smoking. But he went against his beliefs. So, him going against his beliefs made him feel a sort of shame upon himself. But, but for a person who knows smoking is harmful, but does not believe, whenever he smokes, he does not have that negative after effect when he smokes. Most of you have lost a lot in the market, and whenever you look at the chart or are in a trade, you feel the market is out to get you. This is because of your beliefs and your beliefs affect the way you perceive the information. After you have taken a streak of losses, you will tend to have something or have developed a belief that the market is out to get you. And whenever you open a chart, you feel some sort of emotions towards the market. You also feel the same emotions when you are in a trade. Most of the time you tend to associate your previous trades with your present trade. And like I said, every moment in the market is unique. I explained this in the previous video, that every moment in the market is unique. And if you try to associate trades, you'll find that self-defense mechanisms will kick in and you will make errors that will affect your trading results. This is just from your beliefs. And if you had different beliefs and had truly be and you truly believe that anything can happen and you only perceive the market information from a neutral perspective not from either winning or losing or identifying yourself as a winner or loser you just identify yourself as a trader who sees an opportunity and takes advantage of an opportunity you find that most of your pain and suffering was only imaginary Different beliefs operate on our perception of information in a way where the information is interpreted from beliefs that you have instilled. We can control how we perceive information by controlling the beliefs we operate out of. In reality, we simply cannot get rid of beliefs since beliefs are energy. So, if beliefs are energy, we cannot destroy them. We all know this. 
and if we cannot destroy energy all we can do is transmute the energy the way we transmute this energy is by giving energy to our new beliefs this way our old beliefs will no longer have strength to affect our actions though they will not completely go away but they will be weak they will be so weak that they will not have an effect on our actions I have already explained how beliefs work. The stronger the energy, the stronger the belief affects your actions. And the weaker the energy, the weaker the belief has to affect your actions. How to change beliefs? Changing beliefs can be a hard task, especially in the beginning, because beliefs have a way of constantly seeking a way to express themselves either verbally or physically but they can be changed let's look at another example this time from my own experience when i was scared of chickens i was really young when this happened because i had a terrible experience with chickens this you may associate this with trading you may have had a bad start in your trading especially when you're a beginner without any guidance you may have had a terrible start in trading just like i had a terrible encounter with chickens when i was young i believe they could cause harm to me because of the experience that i had with the first chicken i encountered so whenever a chicken would come closer i would absolutely be frightened and run away worse off if i was told to catch one I know this sounds ridiculous, but this is the power of beliefs. My belief was so strong, let me rephrase it, the energy of that belief was so strong that no matter how many times an individual proved to me that they are not harmful, I would still be frightened. How did I change my belief? By taking action. I began to face my fears. It was a struggle at first, but as time went on, and as I experienced nothing harmful, my belief had changed. I can now chase and catch a chicken. I can kill it and I can eat it. Hello. What I'm trying to say is when you are trying to change your beliefs, you have to counter your beliefs with other beliefs and you have to put in more energy in the new beliefs that you are trying to develop. The way you put in more energy in your new beliefs is by taking action on your new beliefs. This way you will discover that your new beliefs are true. Whether those beliefs are a lie or not, the more you put in more energy in those beliefs, they will become true to you. My previous belief has not left. It is still in my mental realm, but the energy is not strong enough to affect my actions. This is how beliefs can be completely changed by countering them with other beliefs similar to changing habits. The way to change habits is by replacing unwanted habits with new good habits and practicing the new habits on a long enough time scale that they become part of your lifestyle. This is the same principle we are going to apply in our trading. We are going to practice certain habits that will align with the fundamental truths about trading stated in the previous video. The habits will lead us to believing in these fundamental truths and will allow us to become successful traders. This is a simple exercise developed by Mark Douglas. Rest in peace, Mark Douglas. Mark Douglas was an exceptional trader. He focused more on trading psychology because he believed he believed 99% of the problems traders face is mental and not technical this exercise is really simple but not easy you have to apply a certain amount of discipline to it which most of you will not be prepared to do your desire to become a profitable trader is not strong enough if this is the case if your desire was strong enough if your desire was strong enough, 
you would do anything no matter what to achieve your goal let's get into the exercise this exercise is called the exercise by mark douglas and here is how the exercise goes choose a set of trades you would take to test out your technical skills as well as your mental skills you can choose a set of 20 trades so for the next 20 trades that occur with the technical confluences you look for you will take all of them without any hesitation this does not mean you have to be careless most of you will just go on another run of trades just opening closing trades opening and closing trades this is why it is important to have a plan so make sure you have a plan if you don't have a plan i would advise you to watch my trading plan video i'll leave the link to the video in the description below or you will find the pop-up card at the right hand of the screen left or right side of the screen i don't know where it is but i'll just leave a pop-up card there and you can find the link in the description below in our gamut also we have an example of a trading plan how you can make a trading plan so you can head over to our gamut i'll leave the link in the description below and you can find an example of a trading plan if you have any questions you can leave a comment in the comment section you can also dm me on instagram at magna fx institute if the elements that are in your trading plan don't show up do not take the trade but if they do take the trade do not force any trades let the market come to you make sure you have a plan and do not go against it the confluences should remain rigid but do not change them at any cost most of the people have this habit of changing their trading confluences as the market unveils itself to them but you are the smart and disciplined trader you have to stay disciplined and stoic and allow the market to present you with the confluences that you look for if the confluences that you look for are not present do not take that trade if you have a trading plan that means you have tested this trading plan and the confluences that you look for pop up time and time again on the chart so if they do not show up on the chart do not take the trade if they show up take the trade without any hesitation do not change anything about your trading plan do not change anything about the trade you have taken just trade and let the trade run secondly you have to know the amount to risk whether it is in dollars or in distance the distance of your stop loss from your entry that's what i mean by distance in distance so the distance from your stop loss or entry or the amount you risk in dollars should always be the same and should never change and have a specific target also in dollars or distance make sure you have come to a conclusion if it is a real account make sure the plan is tested on a demo and is profitable do not change any of the rules make them rigid you have to be completely comfortable with losing the money you are risking so if it is losing 20 trades in a row which is possible you have to be completely comfortable with it do this exercise until you can take a trade without any conflicting or competing thoughts if you want to change anything in the middle of the trades do not do it only after you have completed the trades is when you can decide to change anything this may sound simple but it is not you will be in a continuous battle with your mind but the more you remain disciplined the easier the exercise becomes and you would have found that you have achieved in changing the beliefs about the market for those that work out you know how difficult it is to lift a new weight but after a period of consistent discipline and effort you will become used to the weight this is similar to the exercise the more you apply discipline and consistency to the exercise depending on your desire to becoming a profitable trader you will find that eventually you will adopt the beliefs that are necessary for you to become a profitable trader the challenge comes in your mind 
you have competing and conflicting thoughts on most of the trades that you take but again whenever a confluence that shows up from your trading plan whenever a confluence from your trading plan shows up on your chart always execute the trade in trading the more you accept the confrontation of taking the trade the faster the fear dissipates it's simple as that the more you accept the confrontation of taking the trade the faster the fear dissipates get your mind out of the outcome most of the trouble that comes in trading is when a trader feels like he knows what's going to happen and is too attached to the outcome and whenever the trade is going against whatever he's expecting self-defense mechanisms kicking again because he is perceiving the market as a threat and it will take away his money which is a symbol of status and power so detach yourself from the outcome and focus on developing the mental skills required when you focus on developing the mental skills required the money will come do the exercise until there is no competing or conflicting thoughts good luck we have come to the end of this video thank you very much for watching this far you can find this slide on our gumroad including multiple other slides and an example of a trading plan you can also join our telegram channel where we give exclusive content about the market and psychology you can also follow us on Instagram at Magna FX Institute. I will leave all three links in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them either in the comment section or on our Instagram channel. In part three of the series, I will explain the process of evolving into a professional trader. So make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get alerted when we post the next video. Thank you and happy trading.